Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about Uranus sextile or trying the North Node in a natal horoscope. Well, as most of you know, Uranus is connected with uh, ingenuity in, in innovation, uh, originality, computers, electronics, electricity, freedom, even rebellion. Uh, we look at the North Node, it's connected with our soul's mission or purpose, and what we may emphasize or accentuate generally after the age of 30. And anyway, uh, first thing that I notice with this, uh, these aspects, I believe, is that there are very auspicious aspects, and this person can be very adaptable and being able to conform with changes in society in uh, what's contemporary, the new scientific fads, or just basic trends, and being able to capitalize on this through business, uh, for example. Uh, we look at um, this, and uh, people might find some uh, unusual ways or unorthodox ways of perhaps um, promoting things, or through advertisement, or doing things in connection uh, with the new, with whatever the newest things uh, may be, these people seem to have a good instinctive understanding generally of what the new trends are, and being able to do something and, and take advantage of this is something that uh, can figure very strongly for this person. Uh, people with these aspects might have some uh, affinity or ability for esoteric subjects such as astrology. Things that are innovative uh, for inventing, maybe things that are connected with science, could be aeronautics, just scientific things, endeavors in general, things that are connected with computers, electronics, uh, revolutionary uh, things. Uh, this person might be uh, somebody that uses these abilities and, and somehow, in, in with their I guess you could say, as far as in connection with their soul's mission or purpose and what they strive to do generally in the latter part of his or her life. Uh, these aspects, of course, when you have anything with the sex style or trying, of course, is auspicious, but the danger is of becoming complacent, and it's important for any sex style or trying aspect a person has is not to rest on your laurels and you always have to be like the planet Uranus uh, progressive and you have to be able uh, things aren't naturally going to come uh, to these people even though they might have inherent gifts that may be connected with ingenuity and, and that are scientific or what have you but there's always has to be the application of these abilities as well uh, to be consistently productive and competent in these things that are that are connected with the planet Uranus and with developing the qualities um, of their uh, of their North Node. Uh, look at this um, uh, placement of these aspects, and Uranus is the planet of freedom. And this person may do well, perhaps working independently in, in certain in certain things. At the same time, the fact that. Uh, Uranus is connected with Aquarius, which is about being humanitarian and selfless. This person may do things in connection maybe with groups as well. They could be uh, do something um, positive, uh, working with others and toward some kind of um, some, some kind of cause through their selflessness, through their philanthropy, through uh, some uh, humanitarian uh, way about them. Uh, groups, organizations, there might be uh, some kind of um, inclination or there might be some kind of uh, interest in social reform and this person might find um, something uh, connected with this in the second half of his or her life that really might be a profound interest in this and we'll look at this, uh, these aspects and this could be uh, something where the person is very is very progressive in terms of whatever it is they uh, they like to do or want to emphasize um, in the latter uh, portion of his or her life, and is someone that generally 
will not want to look backwards. They're more futuristic. Things that are, uh, they, they have the constantly the looking ahead, ahead philosophy as opposed to uh, looking backwards. And this person has the ability, even in their own life more likely than not, to adapt to unanticipated changes or some kind of disruption in their lives and being able to go uh, with the flow with this as opposed to uh, going uh, going against this or legend, I should really say maybe not going against it but letting um, some new some I guess you could say some adverse unanticipated event ca cause a disruption in their lives and affect them in a negative way uh, what these people generally will do is that there is a time which forces them to change something or to change their direction for some reason what, uh, where they're going uh, whatever they're, they feel their missions or their aspirations would be they have the ability to more uh, make the adjustment as opposed to uh, letting the, the change affect them and to, to their detriment I should say well anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the North Node sex style or trying Uranus in a natal horoscope. Stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about Uranus and major adverse aspect to the North Node in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis on a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because a person astrologically is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one. Until next time people stay well.